Hello, my name is Oliver Glantz and I'm working as a professor of Old Testament at Andrews University. I'm also a team member of the ETCPC research group at the Free University of Amsterdam. In this video tutorial, I would like to show you how to specify distances between blocks in your SheetBunk queries. So let's go here to SheetBunk into the query section, which is available because I've logged in. Um, so let's go here to this particular query and start editing it. So we start every query with select all objects where. Now, um, let's say we want to search for the word Abraham, so word focus um, Lex is Abraham. It's a noun, so we have to add this slash. Okay, so we are now finding all the cases in which the word Abraham appears. But let's say we also want to find the word Sarah. So word focus next is Sarah. Now, since Sarah is a homonym, um, so you have Sarah as princess and, and Sarah as a proper name, this actually comes with the equalization sign um, in order to make sure that we only find the proper name, Sarah. Uh, okay, good. So if I now run this query, you will see we don't find any results. Well, the reason for that is um, that the search engine now looks for the word Abraham being directly followed by the word Sarah. And obviously this doesn't appear uh, in the Tanakh. So um, if we would allow for some spacing, let's say for a word to appear in between Abraham, Sarah, we might be more successful. So let's add another word between Abraham, Sarah and see what we get. So we have a couple of uh, more cases here. In fact, four cases. You see that the Abraham, the Sarah, that the word V here is in between, the word L is here in between, the word at. Uh, and here again the word word. So this is exactly that one particular word that we allow to appear between Abraham and Sarah. So imagine we want to allow for more words to appear in between. We could of course do something like this. Uh, now we would find two words being between Abraham and Sarah. And here we go. We have two words, the at or Henika um, Banim. Um, but it's much more um, workable if you use an operator. So take the asterisk, use this type of bracket, and now add the number of um, repetitions that you would allow that word to have. For example, 0 to 1. Well, this would mean, closing the bracket, this would mean that the search engine now finds all cases in which we either have zero word between Abraham and Sarah or a max of one word. Now we can increase that all the way up to 10, for example. So let's run the query. And you see that we find also cases like in Genesis 17, 15 with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words between Abraham and Sarah. That's because we allowed for up to 10 words to appear in between. If they're lesser than 10, yes, we find them as well. Here we find three words being in between or here just one word. Um, so that's one way to identify or to um, specify the distances between blocks. So we have one block here and we have another block here and with this block we actually specify the distance. Um, there are uh, other ways to uh, identify the distance as well. Um, 
but for them we would need to use a block that can function as a container. For example, verse. We are now searching for verses in which we have the word Abraham and Sarah appear. Now we can use this two dots, these two dots, um, what they, um, full stop signs, what they allow is that everything that is between Abraham and Sarah within the container verse, within, within one verse, um, is being found. So if, if there's nothing between Abraham and Sarah, it will be found. If there is no other word, for example, between Abraham and Sarah, it will be found. If there are hundreds of words between Abraham and Sarah within that one verse, which is of course unlikely, uh, it will be found as well. So let's look at this. So you see now that we find any distance between Abraham and Sarah within the container verse. Of course, you could say, you know, why not search for those cases in which Abraham and Sarah appear in the same, one and the same clause. So this is what you would do. You would change the container into clause. Now we're finding all cases in which in one clause, the word Abraham and Sarah appear. Disregarding the distances. Yeah, so now we find if we actually click here on the verse, you'll see that let's do this even smaller. You see that the clause starts here and the clause is ending here. So we find Abraham as the third word of the clause and Sarah as the last word of the clause. This brings me to the next operator that I would like to show you, and that is the first and last. So imagine you want to search for all clauses where the word Abraham is the first word in the clause. You would use first, the operator first. So let's run the query. And what we'll see is that Abraham is never in the first position. Um, so let's change let's change this by bracketing out this one. So and let's delete the locus here. So now what we do is we want to put a vocus, we want to highlight the first word of each clause in which Sarah appears somewhere in the clause but the first position. Here we go. So here we have all those words that open a clause, or obviously in a share clause, or um, an interrogative is opening uh, a clause. Um, so let's find now all the cases. Let's take the first away, activate again our Abraham. So let's find all cases, let's put the focus away as well. Let's find all cases in which Sarah appears as last word of the clause. So we do focus last and run the query. So what you'll see is that in one case, Sarah is actually at the end of the clause Genesis 18 verse 6, you see here the clause ends here and it's the last word. Um, of course, we now have Abraham and Sarah always in a specific order. So if you, let's take this last one away again, if you want to search for those cases in which Sarah precedes uh, Abraham in a clause, you would have to use the OR operator. or. And then let's just copy paste this clause. So, and now we just change the values here. And Abraham, we put into this block. And 
here we go. So now we find all cases in which Abraham is, um, is preceding Sarah, as well as those cases where Sarah is preceding Abraham. Well, out of curiosity, let's see whether Abraham is preceding, as Sarah is preceding Abraham in any clause. So we do that by just bracketing out here our first block construction. Yes, and there are a few cases in which Sarah precedes Abraham in a clause. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Remember, you have three options. Um, so either the um, double dots for any space, make sure that you use a container in that case, um, the um, asterisks with brackets, the first and the last. Thank you.